What's up guys, Proxyk here, back with another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at the HPC T9 fanless mini computer. Right now, it costs $150 on Amazon, and it's actually a pretty good deal. So let's go ahead, get started, and take a look at it. Now before we even unbox this, let's just take a quick look at the specifications. To start off, it has a quad-core Intel Cherry Trail Atom Z8350 processor. In terms of memory, it has 4GB of DDR3, which in my opinion is more than enough on a system like this, so that's definitely a good thing to have. Now for storage, you have 32GB of space, and that's honestly not a lot of space to store all of your files, so if you do need more room, then just use a flash drive or an external hard drive. Now inside the package, you get 4 different things. First off, you get the actual PC itself. Along with that, you get a short HDMI cable. You also get a short power cord, and then you get an HDMI to VGA adapter. And the actual PC itself is pretty well built and it has a lot of input and output ports. On the left side you have one micro SD card slot, one USB 3.0 port, and one USB 2.0 port. Now moving on to the back you have a 5 volt DC in port for the power cord. Next to that you have a micro USB slot. Next to that you have an HDMI 2.0 port which can output up to 4K video. And that's actually very impressive for a small computer like this. And of course next to the HDMI port you have a 100 megabit ethernet port which is not too impressive. 1 gigabit would have been better, but 100 megabit is perfectly fine for most people. Next to that, you have a headphone jack, and then next to that, you have a spot for the Wi-Fi antenna. And then to finish it up, on the right side, you have two USB 2.0 ports and the power button right to the left of that. Now, you might be asking why you would even need a computer like this, and there are several different answers to that question. One popular thing that a lot of people would use this for is to stream media to your TV. So basically, they would use it as a media box. We already have things like Roku and Apple TV, but sometimes people just want a little bit more functionality. And that's what this offers. You would not only be able to stream Netflix and YouTube and other services, but you'd also be able to do things like surf the web and run Windows-based applications. And if you are going to use it as a media box, one thing I would recommend getting is a wireless keyboard that has a trackpad on it. That way you can just sit back on your couch and be able to type and do whatever you want and use the mouse without having to actually be restricted by a cable. And if you don't want to spend your money on a keyboard, then another good option is to download a Wi-Fi mouse app. To do that, you just download the app on your phone and then you download something onto the computer. And then you are able to use your phone as both a mouse and a keyboard, which is super useful. And it's actually something I do a lot and I really like it. Another reason you might want it is for the price. It's a much cheaper alternative to a higher end desktop computer. And if you're only going to be doing basic tasks on your computer, then there's no reason why you should be spending extra money to get a full size desktop. Now just to give you guys a third reason, you might also want this for the size. Because of its size and how small it is, that makes it super portable, and not only is it portable, but it also makes it more discreet. Now personally, I like to use this for surfing the web, streaming videos, and streaming Steam games from my main desktop computer. Now there are some things that this computer is not good for. For example, this PC would not be good for Photoshop, video editing, or any sort of program that relies heavily on graphics. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, that's just not what this computer was designed for. Overall guys, this is a good computer and I would recommend it. It's a good deal, it has a nice price tag, and the quality of it is very nice as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more videos. On this channel, we'll make all sorts of reviews on technology, gadgets, and really anything else that seems interesting. So like I said, make sure to subscribe for that. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter name is on screen. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.